So, Tyler. <laughs> what, how, I mean, when you get to get that running game going in a game, uh, I know you're not counting the yards that's happening, but, I mean, as an offensive line, do you kind of feel kind of the taking over in a game like that when those rushing yards keep piling up? Yeah, I think as an old lineman, that's your dream to get the run game going. Um, you know, certainly every game we're trying to, you know, be effective in the run game because that opens up a lot of other things. Um, but, you know, especially talking about last game, you know, it was, you know, it was kind of slow early. Um, just stay with it, stay at it. Um, and, and running back started hitting those holes and, um, you know, saw, saw, saw things uh, start to get moving. Tyler, we keep seeing different elements. How much room do you think this offense still has to grow? Yeah, a lot. Um, you know, there's still a lot of things each and every game on tape that you know we can improve on. Um, you know, and certainly just being at almost to the halfway point. Um, you know, we're doing a lot of good things, but also things that we need to get better at. Uh, and you know, I think we got a good group of guys that know that um, and want to improve. You know, aren't um, aren't content with what what where we're at right now. So um, it's always good when we have a good group of guys like that. Tyler, uh, the left guard position was a competition at the beginning of the season. John Simpson won it, and then you played next to him for the next you know, nine weeks. Just what's it been like working next to him, and, and uh, how have you seen him perform just over the course of the season? Yeah, John's been awesome. Um, you know, he's definitely deserved the, that starting job. Uh, just coming in here every day, working his tail off. Um, and just the thing with him, just gaining confidence each and every week. Uh, you know, he practices hard, um, goes out there and performs on game day. So. You know, when you're looking at teammates, that's what you, that's what you want out of your teammate. Tyler, you got a lot of kind of national love for that play on the 60-yard run by Keaton Mitchell. Take out one guy, run downfield. Take out two more guys, 25 yards downfield. What's your mentality on that play? Where you look ahead of you, the run's still going, and you, you're trying to get downfield on that play. I'm just trying to be explosive, trying to make those explosive plays happening. You know, if you look on the on the tape and on the film, you know all. Everyone's doing their job. Everyone's, you know, finding someone to block. Um, I'm just trying to do my part, and so are other ten guys on the team. Tyler, when you talk about uh, being explosive, a lot of the time when that's mentioned, it's about position, you know, skill players, wide receivers, running backs. Does that also go to the offensive line that you guys also want to be explosive? Yeah, for sure. You know, we got to block the guys in front of us. Um, you know, and then block guys in front of us, work to the next level, and then, you know, we have you know awesome skill position guys here that can make a lot of things happen. So, we do our job. Um, they do their jobs. A lot of good things can happen. Tyler, you're in the middle of a three-game home stretch here. How beneficial is it to be playing at home in front of your crowd? Yeah, it's been awesome. You know, our, our fans, especially you know, this past last game was awesome. You know, the more fans we can get out there, the better. Um, you know, we really lean on them, uh, um, and they've been tre tremendous. And you know, this this hope, you know, this next two-game stretch, you know, we can get more fans out there as well. Because um, you know, when they're rolling, we're rolling. So it's good to have them out there. The, Brown, the Browns. It goes without saying how special of a player Miles Garrett is, but knowing that he can move around some, I mean, just how much discussion is there among the offensive line with just knowing where he is on every single play? Yeah, he's definitely a guy that you got to know where he's at. Uh, you know, one of the best DNs in the league, um, one of the best defenders in the league, uh, and the tape spe speaks for itself. Um, you know, he's he's a guy that has all the tools. Um, you know, just his size, strength, and speed. You know, it definitely makes it makes it challenging. So, you know, it's someone you, you definitely know have to know who uh, who and where he's at. Um, but you know, that starts with the game plan. Starts with this week and just trusting our fundamentals and technique and to get the job done. Lamar's pressure times are down. He was saying so he considers some of the offensive weapons. But from your standpoint, do you feel like defenses are defending differently since he's rushing less, or they're still respecting that threat? Yeah, I mean. You know, you got to defend his legs, right? Um, he's one of the most electrifying players in the league. Um, but also, he can throw the hell out, hell out of the ball. So, um, you know, he's done a tremendous job. And, you know, like Lamar said, you know, we got a lot of good weapons um, that can get the ball. Um, so, but when the times that he needs to run, he can run. When he needs to throw, he can throw. When you get a new coordinator, I mean, people obviously focus on what that means for the quarterback, for the wide receivers, et cetera, et cetera. But how much learning curve would you say there's been for the offensive line? Yeah, I mean, I still think, you know, starting having OTAs with Coach Monk was huge, you know, just getting familiar with, you know, maybe our philosophy and, and how we want to be as a unit, um, understanding the communication. Um, and I think he's been tremendous just trying to get everyone on the same page. And he always preaches over communicate. 
Um, you'd rather over communicate than under communicate. So, um, you know, just creating our identity OTAs into fall camp, you know, finding ourselves has been huge. And then, you know, we're still creating that identity as the season goes, you know, still um, finding stuff uh, to improve on. Um, but I still think we're doing a lot of good things. Does your job feel much different under him than it did under Greg or largely, largely the same? No, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's about the same. Um, also, too, you know, it's just at the end of the day, wherever you go, you know, communication has to be important uh, for the line position. So as long as everyone's on the same page, you know, five guys doing the same thing, you know, including tight ends and quarterback knows what's going on, you put yourself in a successful situation. Hey, uh, uh, Justin Matabike is having a great year on the D-line. How, how, what have you seen from him in practice? And have you guys ever gone at it full speed? <laughs> yeah, I mean, shoot, Beeks was a problem in camp, OTAs. He's been a problem for us all line for a while now. Um, so we've all seen the issues that he's caused, uh, the havoc, havoc that he's caused um, in games, and we've gone against that in practice. So what he's doing right now, um, it's not a surprise to any of us because uh, that's just the type of player he is. I mean, shoot, you watch him in practice, he's going the same speed. So, um, you know, credit to him, and that's why he's so successful on Sundays. Uh, you see the defense's pressure packages and you can practice every day. How different are they from what you see from a typical defense around the NFL? Yeah, they certainly cause, uh, you know, there's a lot of different fronts that you can see for them. Um, and they come at you in a lot of different ways. Um, and it can, it can be challenging, you know, they, and that's, and it helps us, you know, when we see that in OTA, see that in fall camp. So, um, and I'm not sure if there's other defense around the league that shows multiple looks like they do. So it definitely helps us um, get ready for the season. Um, and it can be challenging for offenses to prepare for. All right. Thank you, Tyler. Thank, Thank you. you.